Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2014 question paper that is Delhi School of Economics Entrance Examination of 2014 and part 1 which consists of questions from 1 till question number 20. So we have uh, completed question number one in our last video so now we are going to start with question number two so question two says let m a b c be respectively the four matrices below so here as you can see we have been given four two cross two matrices two cross two matrices means two rows and two columns hence two cross two so you can see each one of these four matrices are two cross two so our first matrix is m second is a third is B and this one is C. So here we have four matrices and here we have been given an equation which is then M is equal to XA plus YB plus ZC. Okay, so this equation has been given. So using this equation, we can put these four values of each of the matrices and find different four different equations. So first let us find the equations. So as you can see, okay, so let me clear up the matrices. Yeah, so now this one is our M, this one is A, this is B and this is C. So you can see X into A plus Y into B plus Z into C. So we will consider the I11 term that is the first term. So 1 into X is X plus 1 into Y is Y plus 1 into Z is Z which is equal to here you can see is 4. So this will be equal to 4. Similarly we will write all of these equations. So the second equation will be x plus 2y plus z equal to 7 which is here 7. Now the third equation is x plus 3y plus 4z equal to 7. As you can see here we have x, here we have 3 and here we have 4 and this one is 7. Now the fourth equation will be x plus 4y plus 5z equal to 9. So here is 1, 4, 5 and 9. You can see here 1, 4, 5 and a 9. So we have found all the four equations. Now let's solve these equations and find the values of x, y and z. So we can consider the first two equations and solve it. So here we let us write the first two equations here. So this is x plus y plus z which is equal to 4. Second equation is x plus 2y plus z equal to 4. So we can subtract any equation from the other one. So let us subtract the uh, upper equation, uh, subtract this down equation from the upper one. So subtracting, we will change the signs. This will become negative, this negative, this negative, and this one also negative. Okay, so this will be seven and not four. So this is seven. Now X minus X gets canceled out. Y minus two Y gives us minus Y. Z minus Z cancels out. This will be equal to four minus seven gives us minus three. So both sides we have negative. So this will be y is equal to 3. So we have got one of these values that is y equal to 3. Now we can put this value in any equation and we will get an equation consisting of x and z only. So let us put this in our first equation. So this will be x plus y is 3 plus z will be equal to 4. Hence x plus z will be equal to 1. So we have got an equation consisting of x and z only and we can again put this value in any of these two equations. So let us put this value in our third equation. So this will be x plus 3 into 3 will be 9 plus 4z will be equal to 7. So solving x plus 4z will be equal to minus 2. So here we have the second equation. This one is our first. This one is our second equation. So we can solve these two equations very easily. So this is x plus z equal to 1. This is x plus 4z equal to minus 2. So let's subtract here. This will be minus, this will be minus and this will become plus. So x minus x gets cancelled out. z minus 4z gives minus 3z and 1 plus 2 is 3. So as you can see z will be equal to minus 1. So we have got the value of z. We have also got the value of y. First let us check the options. I think this these two values will do our work and remember we have got z equal to minus 1. So in options we have but x, y, z are not unique. So by seeing y and x, uh, z's value we can say that these two are unique hence option 
A is not correct. Option B says Z is equal to minus 1. So this option has been proved. Now let's check other options. Here we have Z equal to minus 1 and Z equal to minus 2. Both can hold. So we have solved, we have considered three equations and we have found no other value of Z. Hence, this equation is also not valid. Now X, X, Y, Z are unique, but X is equal to 2. So this is also not valid because our X value is minus 1. Hence, our correct answer is option number B, that is Z is equal to minus 1. So I will like to end this video here. You will find solutions to the further questions in our next videos.